Hello and welcome back to my channel, it's Nathan here and today we'll be looking at how to map out your brand new world of fashion for 2023. Okay, so not a lot has changed, but there's some software tweaks that kind of help improve the mapping process. So let's go and jump right into it. Now, if you first start mapping, you should have a blank screen, but for this demonstration, I already have a map created. You can see there's a colorful map right here that represents different rooms, but this tutorial is mainly focused on how to get this map. Now, depending on what model you have, whether it's your Roblox, Gigafax, Dreamy Tech, they all should be very similar. So what I would do is make sure your world back is on the latest firmware. You can see for my Roblox, I have to update it, but just for time's sake, I would just say I update it. But there should be a little indication that you know, yes, you should update your uh, firmware here. All right, so once we got it updated, now we can just go into the map options, usually it's called map options, manage maps, whatever it is, just make sure you're in that screen. Now for this demonstration, you use the Roblox, but it's very similar to a lot of these world vacuums. Now for the Roblox, all you have to do is just say create a new map and it gives you the option to either do a full house cleaning. Now that's an old style mapping process. Basically what the Roblox vacuum does is you actually will go out do entire house cleaning and then come back and it will create the map. Now this is nice if you want to kill two birds with one stone. You want to clean your house. Also you want the Aurora vacuum to map out. Also if you want to see any troublesome areas you can actually follow the robot and see where it may have issues. Now if you're in a hurry like me you want the mapping done do the quick map option. It usually takes about three to five minutes. Once it's done you're good to go. So I just click on that and this guy will start coming out and doing its thing. There you go, you can see I have a map started right here. Pause. And now you can pause the robot. I don't recommend lifting the robot up. If you want it to take a break, just sit there. Uh, if you do lift the robot up, it may cause some issues with the map. But the robot will spin, go out, spin again, and just continue uh, mapping your floor plan. Now, a bit of a fast map option is the fact that you don't have to clean up your area. You just have everything on the ground, and the robot back is pretty smart and navigate around that. Okay, so once you're done, the robot will go back to its dock and create a new map. But, let's say, for example, you want to create a new level. All you have to do is go back to the manage maps, and you can see the map I've already created is right there. But if I want to go back to the main level, I just say in the task and I can just load back the previous map. So let's just go ahead and do that. Uh, we'll just go ahead and uh, say I want to use this backup map. Yep. There's the current map I just replaced. There we go. And now it should show uh, the previous map I have. There we go. So it's really pretty simple. And that's just a quick tutorial on how to map out your vacuum. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments. Uh, usually mapping isn't a tough affair, but sometimes it's a little tricky to make sure you have everything lined up just right. Alright, so thanks so much for watching. Have a great rest of the day. Catch you next time. Adios.